Hello and welcome to another episode of Fully Charged. This time it is a little bit different, I'll admit that, because as you know, this series is all about electric vehicles, renewable energy, energy storage, microgrids, the future of energy and transport. And I'm actually sitting in a very nice burger bar in downtown Los Angeles. It's the Umami Burger Bar on Broadway, in case you want to come here. It's really nice. They're very friendly staff, I can tell you that. And I'm here to eat a burger. So there's no connection. Why is the connection? Why would, why would I be eating a burger on Fully Charged? Well, these are slightly different. These are impossible burgers. Now, I've heard about Impossible Foods for quite some time, and it's been a while till I've been able to arrange to actually come to an Impossible Burger bar and eat an Impossible Burger. And the reason it's called that is because it's never been near a cow. An Impossible Burger looks like, smells like, tastes like a beef burger, and it's never been near a cow. And I'm going to try the first one right here, right now. This is a bottle of water, and we all know that it's really wrong. There's more and more reports about, about all the plastic we throw away, you know, the single-use plastic. This is, is just water. It's in a bottle, and it's chilled, and it's very nice. But this isn't a plastic bottle. This is made from, and I've had to read it, but it's from 82% renewable resources. It's made of paperboard, which we know about, which is stuff you get. We used to get milk in in a wax paper thing, not a plastic thing. And it's... It's, they plant more trees than they cut down and uh, this is made of sugar cane that's yeah. not plastic it's sugar cane extraordinary uh, so it's a 74% reduction in greenhouse gases released as a result of using this as a, as a water bottle I might use it again because it's one of those foldy up ones it's made of card it's not made of plastic so that's a good start and now what about the burger there he is! Oh, that is brilliant. Thank you. Wow. My God, an impossible burger with a flag. Great stuff. Thank you. <laughs> so at first glance, that really does look like a burger. OK, here goes. I'm going to have a, have a bite of an impossible burger. It's got salad. It's got cheese. It's got... It's, it's just a, look, it looks like... It smells like and looks like a burger. It's hard to believe it isn't a burger. It really does taste like meat, and it really does look like meat. I think the only way I could really tell, excuse me for talking with my mouth full, the only way I could really tell is if I had a beef burger there and this one here, then I'd go, oh yeah, it's slightly different. So the, maybe the consistency is slightly different. But here's the really important thing about this food product, if you like. It needs 96% less land to manufacture this burger than you would a beef burger. 96%, that's huge. It needs 87% less water, because that's the thing we never think about. But when you're growing cattle, you need a lot of water to grow the grain that you feed to the cattle that then gets turned into meat that we then kill the cow and then we manufacture the meat out of that and then we make a burger and then we cook it. I mean, if you look at the step-by-step the -step process, it's barking mad, it's unsustainable, it's daft. This uses way, way less of all those things. And, very importantly, 87% less greenhouse gases are emitted as a result of manufacturing this. I've worked with cows, I've been a milkman, I've milked cows in the morning. They fart a lot, they burp a lot, and that's methane, and that's... You know, one herd of cows makes no difference. A hundred million head of cattle, and it's, like, a huge, huge problem. And so, it's, I think it's, I'm really supportive of what they're trying to do. That's the mission of Impossible Foods is to produce meat that doesn't do that much damage. So this is made of things like soya, nuts, but some really weird um, uh, fungus, some mushrooms that have been, that, that, that create the sort of the meat-like, the muscle-like texture in it. And I'm, no, I'm really impressed. I think it's fantastic. Excuse me while I'm just going to carry on. I'd say it's 70 percent, 75 percent, unbelievably like a burger, like a beef burger, and 25 percent you kind of go, no, I know it isn't. But <clears throat> I think if you didn't know, if no one told you, and you were eating one of these, you wouldn't think 
what am I eating? You think I'm eating a beef burger. You look at that there, that just looks, looks like a beef burger. It's really nice. It has all the same constituents that a beef burger has, so it has the same protein, the same fats, the same kind of texture. fair to say <clears throat> I wolfed that impossible burger quite quickly I was really hungry um, so my I think my final assessment is it's 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 it, it, in every aspect it's the same as a, as a beef burger same protein same fat same content I, I, I would say it's if you're a real hardcore meat eater you would go, yeah, but it's not as, it's not really like a beef burger because I like beef and all that stuff. And it's kind of there's an there's an element of similarity between an electric car and a petrol car. If you really like petrol cars and you like that noise and the smell that comes out of the exhaust and the fact that you have to buy expensive fuel that has an enormous impact on the environment, then that's a beef burger. And this is kind of an elect the electric car of beef burgers. It's kind of the same, but it has slightly less impact. You know, it's not that it has no impact, but it just has less impact in its in its uh, life. So it's kind of there is a, a relevance to fully charged and uh, impossible burgers. I would eat another one happily, not now, as I've had enough now, and I'm going to have some French fries. But I wouldn't go. Oh, I'd never want to eat one of those again. It has a kind of nut nut roast after flavour, and I like nut roast, so I'm now getting a bit of nut. Um, so there's a lot of constituents in it, and they're still refining it and, and changing it. So that's all I've got time for. I've eaten my burger. I've got to go and film another electric car. Um, please subscribe to Fully Charged. It isn't normally about burgers. Uh, please have a look at the Patreon link. And uh, as always, if you have been, thank you for watching.